unlock the potential, if it happens, it's going to be DeMarcus Cousins. There's no coaching change that's going to make the difference. There's no players that are going to surround him that make the difference. It's up to him. And a nice finish at the basket. That's just tremendous defensive effort. You did all you could to prevent the make. Unfortunately, he stuck it. Jennings moving the ball around beautifully. Fakes the drive, but steps back. No shot off the mark. To Walker. He's among the league leaders in assists per game this season. Half a minute to go here in the first. The Knicks down by four. To Rose. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. And Carmelo Anthony with the jumper for three. A oh, beautiful footwork right there to stay in bounds, rise up, and knock in the three ball. Loses the control, reaches in for the steal, stolen by Jennings. Pass to the corner. It'll count if it goes. So the first quarter comes to an end. New York's down by one. We'll be right back with more basketball here on ESPN after this short break. So first quarter complete, about to begin quarter number two. A little bit of a feeling out process. Well, you're right, Mike. You know, sometimes you don't get a real good grasp on how the game's going to go, but it was well played by both teams. Close competitive game. A whistle and a foul called against Gay. That's his first. And Brandon Jennings will go to the line with under two minutes to go in the second. Hey, you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled just to get the ball up into the rim was a great achievement. There are some nights, Jeff, where Brandon Jennings is one of the more dynamic players. He can throw up big numbers, both scoring and assist-wise, but like many players, the key is gaining that consistency. It is. It's the way you get known in this league. You can't be a sometimes player. you got to be an every-night competitor. So Jennings has that responsibility that all point guards have push the ball in transition, get others involved, and then defensively set the proper tone. Two-pointer won't go. Jennings bringing it up. Nice ball movement. To the basket. There's the whistle. And it's on to the line for a couple of free throws. Look, you got to put yourself in position to be fouled if you're a good offensive player and a great free throw shooter. Take advantage of your strengths. Earn your way to the free throw line. And gets both points from the line. So many young players for Sacramento. DeMarcus Cousins, the talent is off the charts. But can he mature both as a person and as a professional? Well, that's really a question for DeMarcus Cousins. How bad does he want to be a great player? What's he willing to change to get to where he wants to be? Porzingis is trying for position in the paint. Gets it and quickly shoots that three. Cousins the rebound. He's among the league leaders in rebounding this season. Gay moving the ball. Excellent teamwork. Cousins. Cousins for two. Nice finish around the rim. Porzingis. Terrific ball movement. Rose for two. It's good. And Derek Rose with his first field goal. 
Walker bringing it up here. Cousins is looking for position in the paint. Adjust on the way to the rim. Converts on the inside. Great concentration and finish on that layup. Beautiful, beautiful play. Jennings against Walker. To Noah. Rose's pass, almost a costly turnover. Good finish inside. Final seconds. And the first half comes to an end. The Knicks up by one. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN Saturday after halftime. Welcome to the EA Sports Halftime. And welcome back to Madison Square Garden for the second half of this basketball game. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. New York's got a slim lead as the third quarter gets underway. But Jeff, this one's anyone's game right now. It is very closely and hotly contested. I like how both teams are playing. They've just got to try to get a little bit more separation with some sound quality possessions. First free throw, perfect. And Derrick Rose with six points. You know, Jeff, a lot of people feel the traditional center is a thing of the past in the NBA. DeMarcus Cousins has proven those people wrong. Well, DeMarcus Cousins could be arguably the most gifted center that we have in the game right now. He's got some issues defensively. He has some turnover problems at times. But as far as the combination of brute strength and great skill, he's got everything you need. This guy is an absolute handful on the offensive end of the field. New York's leading Sacramento by a score of 17 to 14. from downtown it's good three-pointer had his hands up his feet set and delivered a bucket with a nice follow-through on that catch-and-shoot jump to Rose excellent ball movement great teamwork to Rose Derek Rose with six points and one assist kicks it back out Fires as the shot clock expires. He puts it in. This is the type of action we've grown accustomed to in the NBA. This back and forth where the lead change often throughout the game. This is exactly the type of exhilarating basketball that I would pay to see. Walker on the drive for two. The Kings with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Gets that one to drop. Jennings firing again. Three quarters complete. And the score is tied. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after this short break. Two great offensive teams going at it. The fourth quarter still to play. This has a chance to be one of the best games of the season. Absolutely classic game so far. Both teams executing offensively, getting the shots they wanted, and then when they get those shots, they're knocking them down. There's the perfect pick. Gets to the rim. Nice touch at the basket. Look, you can't give up layups like that. you got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Rose 
Derrick Rose with six points and one assist. Walker against Jennings. And there's a shot clock violation. When you force a shot clock violation, you have played outstanding defense. You have made the multiple efforts it takes to win in this league a tremendous defensive effort. To Rose. Moving the ball around beautifully. He puts it in. Slut shot. Cousins. Screen set nicely. Looking to curl in on the drive. Yep, he hit him. A foul called against Cousins. That's his second foul. And Derrick Rose will go to the free throw line. He's two for two from the line tonight. I really like what I saw there. Good strength, good athleticism, took the foul, got up a nice shot, just didn't roll in. Two for two at the line, a little breathing room, now a four-point advantage. That's going to be a quick 20-second timeout. When you're in a two-possession game, you don't really need to do anything special to get back in it. All you need to do is execute out of the timeout, get a score, and then have your defense lock in and lock down, get a stop, and then get out on the break. Takes the three. Shot from way outside, no good. Get him for the foul, he had to do it to stop the clock. With about a half a minute to go, and you're up four, if you make both of these free throws, it totally alters your defensive strategy. You can just protect the three-point line, because really, the two-point shot won't hurt you. job at the line. They're now up six. The whistle blows. Timeout here late in the fourth. The question here when you have a two possession deficit is do you need a three? Well what you need is either a quick two or get to the free throw line and then if the three point shot opens up yes you're ready to take it. To Walker. beyond the arc. And there's the foul. They had to stop that clock. And he connects on the first free throw. He hits the pair of free throws. Their lead is now eight. And this game's all wrapped up. The final score is 29 to 21. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night.